Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, I'm going to show you guys what could possibly be the simplest solution if you have a speaker problem on your JAMA cabinet. Now, I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video, but this is a Dynamo cab that I got not too long ago, at least at the recording of this video. Now, when I got it, I was told that there was a speaker problem. So I thought, no, no, no biggie, nothing that can't be solved. So I get it, I install my Pandora's box multi-board, no sound. I installed various JAMA PCBs, and again, no sound. So I thought, okay, maybe the speaker is blown up there. It was just a single speaker, it was dirty, it looked old, it's probably the original one. I was ordering some parts, and I just ordered a new speaker, it cost me like five bucks. So, I get it, I install it up here, still nothing. That, that's kind of weird. So then I start looking at my harness, and I'm thinking, hmm, maybe the, the speaker wires aren't hooked up correctly. And they look, you know, I traced them from the harness all the way back up to the speaker, everything looked good. So... Then I started thinking, well, maybe there's a, a kink somewhere. Because the person just went really ape shit and all these uh, tie downs for the wires, which it looks nice, but when you have that, there's always a possibility that you're going to get issues with sound. So I cut the speaker wires on the JAMA harness a couple inches away, actually, probably about six inches. I cut and spliced some spare wire. So I went straight from the harness all the way down to this brand new speaker. Turn it on, nothing. So I'm thinking, hmm, this is very weird. It should not be this difficult. I looked over all my previous steps and still everything looked good. And I'm thinking, okay, very weird. Besides the multi uh, cart right there, there were just some plain JAMA boards, simple stuff. Uh, Russell Fest, UN Squadron, I even tried um, some CPS2 stuff, still nothing. So then I started tracing all the wires and I should have you know, thought of this first. Uh, it was just something that passed me by, but let's see if we can take a look. So I'm looking at all the wires and probably not going to focus in. But let's see, probably can't see it, maybe you already know what I'm pointing at, but you see that? A wire is missing. Which wire? Well, it was my 12 volts. For whatever reason, let's refocus, this is a good camera but the focusing abilities kind of suck sometimes. Whatever reason, the previous owner, or actually the second to the previous owner, disconnected the 12 volts, and I'm not sure why. Uh, the person I got this from, they told me offhand, or they told me straight up, there was a speaker issue. Um, so obviously they didn't do it. But yeah, now just to show you, let's, I'll put in some coins, and we'll start a game. We'll just wait for this to power up. And we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. There you are, nothing. So, let me turn everything off. I'll plug in the 12 volts. I always like to turn everything off first. And then, let's take a look at it again. Okay, we're back and I got the 12 volts plugged into the power supply and let's see what happens. Now there's, in case you don't know this cart, there's no sound on the initial screen, but you hear that? We'll go ahead and start a game. And 
there you go. Perfect sound. So, if you're ever having problems with your speakers and you can't find out the reason, check the 12 volts on your power supply. It might be as simple as that. Hopefully this video helped you guys out or it can help you in the future. So if you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.